In this video, I'll show you how to create a subscription box website on WordPress. Let's get straight into it. Before we get into the video, let's have a quick look at a few subscription box website, and then we'll go ahead and create a similar thing on our WordPress website. All right, so here we are on this coffee company website, and the concept is quite intuitive. So here, the customer can choose the coffee preference, right? They can choose the grind type, and here they can choose the roast preference as well. And then they can choose whether they want a double bag, a single or even half bag, right? And then finally, they can choose the frequency of the subscription and then just go ahead and check out. So I'll show you how you can create something similar on your WooCommerce store. Let's have a look at a few other examples. So this one's pretty straightforward. It's currently sold out, but typically you can purchase this bundle, right? On a monthly basis, or usually I think there's an option to do a one-time purchase as well. So I'll show you how to create a similar setup. Let's have a look at maybe one more. Again, this is similar to the last one. Here we've got some predefined um, bundle and the user can choose whether they want to be billed quarterly or annually, right? And then they can just subscribe. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the AOVUP subscriptions plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And finally, if you want to create this style of subscription product, then you'll also need to get the AOVUP product add-ons plugin. However, if you go for the all access plan, everything will be included. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's head over to our dashboard and create our first subscription box. So I'm assuming you've already installed and activated the AOVUP subscription and product add-ons plugin, right? So firstly, we're gonna create this bundled product is the simplest to create so we'll just quickly create this and then we'll go ahead and create this type of setup i'll leave the timestamp in the description below so you can jump to the appropriate section okay so we just go products and then add new we'll enter in our product name okay we'll add our image Okay, we'll go ahead and add our price. So for this product, I want to allow customers to either do a one-time purchase or sign up for our monthly subscription of this particular product. So we're going to put the price for the one-off purchase. Let's just say it's $35 and then we can just hit publish. So you can add um, the description here as well. I'm just going to leave that blank for now. Okay, let's view our product. Okay, and here we can see this is a one-time fee. Now let's go ahead and add a subscription component to it. So we'll head over to AOVUP and then subscriptions. Okay, and now we'll head over to plans. We'll create a new plan. Okay, we'll just give this a name. It's for internal purposes. So we can say Flapjack. Um, here we can add a display name. So this is shown on the front end. So we can say something like subscribe and save. And then for the prompt text, we can say something like choose your plan, right? Okay, and then for the frequency, We'll leave this for now and then we'll come back to it shortly. So let's go ahead and add our first plan. So our first plan will be billed every month. And then for the length, we'll leave this to don't stop until the customer cancels the subscription. For the display name, we can say something like um, our monthly plan, right? And then we can do a discount um, based on the original price. So the original price for the product is $35. And if they go for the monthly subscription, we'll give them a 10% discount, right? We can add additional plans as well, but we'll just keep it super simple for now. Here we get to choose which product category we want to apply this plan to. In the future as well, there will be an option to choose a specific product. So let's just hit save. And now let's refresh this page. And then here the user can go ahead and choose the appropriate plan. So they can either purchase this for a one-time fee or they can subscribe and save, right? And then they can just add it to their basket. Okay, so this is our first example. Now we'll have a look at how to create a similar setup to this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a similar setup to this. So we'll head back over to our dashboard. We'll navigate over to products and then add new. We'll just call this one a coffee. And let's add an image. Okay, so for this particular product, for the price, we're going to set it to zero. And the reason is the price is going to be determined based on the options that the user select. So we're going to leave this to zero and then we'll add on the price later on. So let's hit pu publish. Okay, so one last thing. I want to create a unique category for this particular product. I'm just going to say coffee. And then we'll update it. Now let's view this product. 
So now let's go ahead and create the options such as the coffee bean type, the rose preference and so on. Okay, so to do that, we'll head over to AOVUP and then this time we'll navigate over to product add-ons. All right, so we'll just click add option set. Okay, so we just enter in a name, it's just for internal purposes, and then we get to choose which product we want to apply these options to. So I'm going to select a specific product here, and then we'll go ahead and search for our coffee product, which is this one. Then we'll scroll down, and then essentially we'll add the different option sets. So for example, we'll click add new option, and then we'll select label or image. So I've already created it beforehand. So I'm just going to show you a quick, a few examples quickly. For the title, we we'll can say something like select your coffee preference. Okay, and then here we can say something like ground. Okay, and then we can add an image to associate with this particular option. So we'll just enable this add image option. We'll upload our image. We'll select it and then for the price, we can leave it as it is or we can actually increase the price based on the user selection. So if they choose this option, so maybe we can increase the price by one dollars, right? So it's totally up to you how you want to configure your options. Then we can add another option and then here we can say something like whole bean. OK, and again, we can go ahead and add our image. And then we can either leave the price as it is or increase the price, then we just hit save. And then essentially we're going to repeat this process for all the options that we want to create. So again, we just click add new and in here we'll select whether um, it's a label or image or any of these other options, right? So we just build it out. So as I said, I've already created my options beforehand. So let's actually delete this one and then I'll show you how everything looks on the front end. Okay, so this is how everything's looking currently. So before we move on, I want to actually remove this zero price because it doesn't make sense in this context. So we're going to head back over to our dashboard. We'll navigate over to general settings under the AOV product add-ons. And then I'm going to enable this option where it says change the product base price with calculated total. So let's hit save changes. And now let's refresh this page. Okay, and this looks loads better. So again, the customer can choose their coffee preference type they can choose the grind type, they can choose their rolls preference, and then they can choose whether they want a double bag, a single or half, right? And the price changes accordingly. So this is great. This is excellent for um, one-time purchases. Now let's go ahead and add the subscription component to this particular product. So let's navigate back over to our dashboard. We'll head over to subscriptions and then we'll navigate over to plans. OK, we'll click create new plan. OK, again, we'll give it a name it's just for internal purposes. So we'll say coffee product. And then for the display name, we'll say something like subscribe and save. And then for the main heading, we'll say choose plan. OK, and then for the frequency prefix, we'll just say something like delivery. Right. And then we'll go ahead and create our plan. So we'll create two plans. So the first one will happen every week. We'll set this to week, so every two weeks. And then for the display name, we'll say weekly. And then the discount for this one will be 15% because we want to encourage customers to basically spend more with us, right? And then for our monthly plan, we'll say every month. And then for the display name, we'll say monthly. And then a discount on the monthly plan will be 10%. Okay, and then we'll apply this particular plan to any products within our coffee category. So now let's hit save. OK, and now let's view our product page again. Let's refresh this page. OK, so again, we can choose our preference. We can choose a grind type. We can choose our rolls preference and we can choose the number of bag we want per shipment. So, for example, we can say double bag. If you notice, the one time purchase price is thirty seven dollars. However, if we subscribe and save, we can save up to 15 percent. And here it's letting us know that for the weekly delivery option, we can save 15 percent. And then for the monthly, we can save 10 percent. So I'm going to choose the monthly and then I can just hit sign up now and this will add it to our basket. So I've already got two of them in my basket. So I'm actually going to remove one. OK, here we can see a breakdown of all the options in which we chose and then we can just proceed to the checkout. So here the customer can see that it's clearly a monthly recurring payment of thirty three dollars and thirty cents. And then we can just check out. So I currently don't have any payment method set up on this particular test site, so I can't show you the checkout process. But essentially, they can just go ahead and check out and then in their dashboard, they'll have the option to cancel whenever they want. Right. 
Okay, so that's a quick and simple way to create a subscription box business on your WooCommerce store. So again, I've showed you two different examples. I've showed you a typical bundle type of subscription box. And then I've also showed you how you can allow customers how to personalize their subscription box.